Have you ever felt like a fraud, a total fake, like you don't belong where you are in life and it's only a matter of time until you make a mistake and show everybody how stupid you are? I know I have. This is called imposter syndrome. Here are 10 celebrities that you may think have it all together, but as you will see when the cameras are off, they explain how they really feel. Tom Hanks. Look, the title is Lucky Guy. It's about somebody who is almost good enough to deserve what he achieves. I still feel sometimes that I'd like to be as good as so-and-so actor. I see some actors work and I think, I'll never get there. I wish I could. Penelope Cruz. I feel every time I'm making a movie, I feel like it's my first movie. Every time I have the same fear that I'm gonna be fired. And I'm not joking, every movie the first week, I always feel that they could fire me. Michelle Pfeiffer. I still think that people will find out that I'm not very talented. I'm really not very good. It's all been a big sham. Maya Angelou. I have written 11 books, but each time I think, uh-oh, they're gonna find out now. I've run a game on everybody, and they're gonna find me out. Mike Myers. I still believe that at any time, the no talent police will come and arrest me. John Steinbeck. I am not a writer. I've been fooling myself and other people. Emma Watson. It's almost like the better I do, the more of my feeling of inadequacy actually increases because I'm just going any moment, somebody's gonna find out I'm a total fraud and that I don't deserve any of what I've achieved. Ryan Reynolds. I went to a lot of events this year because of Deadpool. So you get into the tux and try to act like a grown up. But to be honest, I still feel like a freckle faced kid faking it until I make it. Lady Gaga. I still sometimes feel like a loser kid in high school and I just have to pick myself up and tell myself that I'm a superstar every morning just so I can get through the day and be for my fans what they need me to be. Meryl Streep. Why would anyone want to see me again in a movie? And I don't know how to act anyway, so why am I doing this? These 10 examples, and there are many more, prove that we all deal with imposter syndrome, no matter how successful we think we are. But what can we do about it so that it doesn't overwhelm us and stop us from achieving our dreams? Here are three steps. Number one, first realize that this is not a defect. It's totally human and natural to feel this way, and actually it may be helpful. Chuck Jones, creator of Pepe Le Pew and Wiley Coyote, said that fear is an important factor of any creative work. Denzel Washington said that the last five minutes before you go on that Broadway preview, if you don't have that what the hell am I doing here feeling, then it may be time to quit. Step number two, we have to be aware that this imposter syndrome is a conversation taking place in our heads. When we are mindful of our own thoughts and stories, we can, we can build space away from them and question them so that we don't have to be controlled by them. Through questioning and challenging these thoughts with a rational rebuttal, we will clearly see that they just aren't true. Here's a pro tip that comes from cognitive behavioral therapy. Writing down the negative thought and having a rational rebuttal is an amazing way to really deconstruct and take the oxygen and the power out of that negative thought. And this tactic has worked for me. Here's a quick example. Negative thought. Ah, I got into trouble at work. They'll probably want to fire me soon because I can't do my job right. Rational counterstatement. I made a mistake at work, but everyone does that from time to time. I usually get a lot of positive feedback about my work. I'll be careful not to make the same mistake 
again. Tip number three, the final tip. Keep reminders of success on hand. These can be emails from friends, families, supporters, accolades, or letters that you may have received. It can even be great to call a friend so that you can get a true perspective. Or even bookmark this video and play it during the times that you start to feel this way. Imposter syndrome is something that affects us all. I have seen it from everybody, from doctors to students to lawyers to entrepreneurs. The truth truth is we're all winging it and that's okay. The last trick that I'm going to tell you before I get out of here is a very helpful one. It is to respond to yourself as though you were responding to a little kid that is beating themselves up over the same problem that you are. The compassion that you give to that little kid is the compassion you should give to yourself. From one imposter to another. Peace.